champions. To whom you're speaking of, that word holds weight. And while the celebrations look like so much fun, sometimes the journey could be the opposite of that. Last year, I watched Fenerbahce become champions. I experienced what that meant to the city, to the people. And as the confetti fell from the rafters, I realized that this moment would never be forgotten. A new generation is born. And sometimes, stories fade to black. But those who become legendary, their story will never die. When this is all said and done, which team will become legends? There are those who will be forgotten and those who live on forever. place more deserving because of everything that this country has been through for every time that this country has fallen it seems to stand tall once again the hope that the pain will come to an end for these people have been mistaken but fear not the darkness has brought about passion life in a lonely place Something to unite us all. Our love for basketball. I've seen what the sport has done. The legends that have emerged. These are exciting times. A gift well deserved. And now that it's here, the biggest stage on this side of the globe. Let it be a citywide celebration. And let it carry on through the night. Four teams, one arena, for all the chips. It's a beautiful thing. The EuroLeague Final Four. Let us crown ourselves a new king. When you're returning home after being away for a long time, there's certain things that serve as a little reminder that you're almost there. Maybe it could be something that you see, a certain aroma. When I pulled up and heard the sounds of the Fenerbahce crowd, whose fans had traveled from miles away, strangely, I felt at home. If there's any sound in the world that'll let you know that it's time for Fenerbahce to hoop, it'll be this one. Winebacker driving hard. Mike Manal Davies is putting it down. Tacos get loose in the corner. First clean shot he said.
inside. For the dunk to Aaron White, they ran their way to the court. They got the man they wanted. This atmosphere, yet again, was amazing. It was like experiencing for the first time again. It was setting up for a perfect story. Fenerbahce was headed to the championship for the second time in a row. and could possibly match up with Real Madrid. But when you're dealing with the EuroLeague, you never know what's gonna happen. It was about to be a showdown. And you already know why I'm here. But through all the excitement I had for Luka, there was someone that I completely forgot about. He was coming back from injury, but no doubt, he's capable of going off. Seska got it going from the jump. It was clear. They were the aggressors. Madrid was fighting. They may have been the favorites, but I don't think they saw the punches coming. But just when things started to look a little grim, in steps the 6 3 show stopping, gun slinging, dime dropping veteran Sergio Lu. And how can I forget about a year ago? I flew to Istanbul and watched him win the EuroLeague MVP over Luca. A different day, a different role, a different Sergio. And he didn't disappoint. He's a master of illusion. The ankle breaking, soul crushing, heart breaking general is here to save the day. He got the whole squad going. the skill, there almost isn't a need for self-promotion. Your actions will speak louder than your words ever will. And if you're lucky enough, loved enough, people will come from all over the world to bear witness, to spread the word, to fill a part of your journey. It really is a beautiful thing. And on this night, people did just that. Travelers from far and wide, we're here in honor of the Wonder Boy, Luka Doncic. So here we are, ready. Let's get rid of all this intrigue and suspense. Please, can I have the envelope? The MVP for the 2017-2018 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season is And so the stage was set for a perfect story.
crude laboratory in the basement of his home. I haven't felt emotion like this in a while. Well, actually, about a year ago. It was a shootout. Both teams came ready to play. And as for Luka, I finally saw it. This guy was finding everybody. It wasn't just the assist that he got. Sometimes it was the hockey passes, the bounce passes to the short slips. And in the EuroLeague, you can play help defense in the paint. So I'm thinking, why can't he do this in the league where there's actually more space? He was impressive, but I waited. I wanted to see more. The game was close, but Real Madrid began to pull away in the end. Luka came alive and stole the show. It was my first time seeing him dominate on the big stage. As good as Fenerbahce was, Real Madrid proved to be too much to handle on this day. It is 3 a.m. in the confines of his lab. always mean your blood. Sometimes families are those you go to battle with. Those are the moments you find out how strong a bond is. True family is experienced together. Through the good times and the bad times. And no matter how far you separate from one another, can't erase those times that brought you closer. On this day, Real Madrid stood victorious as a unit. Something that will live in the archives forever. Etched into the EuroLeague Final Four history books. But how long will their reign last? The new season is here. Shall we crown a new king?